<laughs> Jack, what was it like for you last night, um, especially uh, uh, one hearing your name uh, called and, and, and being called by a Jim Rice uh, Hall of Famer who's also a South Carolina native? Was that kind of kind of fun for you? Yeah, it was great. It was a very special moment that I was able to share with my family, and you know, it was like, it was exciting. And we were all waiting there and just waiting, and just to hear your name finally called, you know, it's it's a blessing, and it's a it's like a sigh of relief. Travis, did you have any sense of what to expect as far as when it would happen, and, and I guess were you as it got closer and closer to 60, were you getting a little nervous? No, no, no. I, I really didn't have a I guess a sense of where I was gonna go. Um, you know, I didn't get any you know phone calls beforehand. And, you know, this is this is new to me. This is my first time ever being drafted, and I'm just happy that um, you know I was able to be drafted by a team. Were you nervous as it went along? No, I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't nervous. Um, just, just anticipating. Just I'm waiting. I mean, if if it didn't happen that day, maybe the next day. If it didn't happen that day, maybe the next. Um, I was just I was waiting, and um, you know, it all worked out. Yeah, okay. did, did you have any pre pre draft conversations at all with the with the Red Sox? I mean, no. was there any sense that it might be them? Um, none at all. I none. had no conversation with anybody. Um, just kind of one of those things. You just wait and see. And how's the how's the hand feeling? Um, at this or the wrist feeling at this point? Yeah, it's, it's feeling good. I'm getting my range of motion back. Um, you know, it's just taking it day by day, and you know, I'm, I'm I'm working as good as I can. And at, at what point do you start to? I mean, um, in terms of trying to swing a bat, and that's. I'm not sure. Um, the doctors, you know, they wanted me to take it slow a little bit, um, but you know, like I said, I'm just trying to take it day by day, and you know, hopefully, I can get back out there and help out the team. All right, then, Travis. So you're gonna turn down the Red Sox and come back to South Carolina for another year? I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see um, when that time comes. Um, you know, I'll be able to make that decision, um, determining factor. Can you describe the conversations you had with scouts about the kind of year you had here and the injury and, and how you sort of reassured them or told them about yourself? Honestly, I really haven't even talked to that many scouts about um, anything. Pretty much just get your get your medical stuff in, get it, get it in. And, um, but other than that, I really haven't talked to them. Um, you know, this year was this year. You know, I'm, I'm going to build from it. Um, there's no excuses. Um, to be made about it. Um, I had an off year. I mean, that's, that's what it is, what it is. But um, you know, I know the kind of ball player I am, and apparently Boston knows the kind of ball player I am, um, or they wouldn't have picked me. And you know, for them to have faith in me and know what I can do, it, it's great. Did you feel like you'd already built your resume about what you had done previously last summer with USA? for these teams to know what you're I was, all about? I, I would say since my freshman year, you know, playing in the SEC is it's hard enough. Um, you know, playing there and then playing in the Cape, doing well in the Cape um, at a young age. Um, coming back sophomore year, also doing pretty well, getting pretty far, um, College World Series. And then playing with Team USA, I did very well as um, well, and with the wood bat as well. Um, people think it's, you know, they say talk about the, the new bats. And I'm not going to be using the new bats at a professional level, so I mean, I'll be using a wood bat. I did. I think I handled myself pretty well with a wood bat, um, but you know, I'm, I'm just going to build on everything that's went down in the past, and, and I'm going to go forward. Ashley. Have you had any conversations with Coach Tanner recently, I mean, about this, and what kind of advice is he giving you? Um, I mean, about this? Yeah, we talked a little bit. Um, he was just basically just encouraging me, um, basically telling me to hang in there, and you know, he supported me, and when, once he um, told me to give him a call, actually, before, and he was just talking with me, just, you know, small talk, just saying how I was doing, how the family's doing, wanted me to tell him, he said, hey. Um, but it was, it was nothing really, um, I guess, it was special to hear from him, but it wasn't really nothing special, I guess, about, but then when I heard my name called, all the coaching staff started calling me, congratulating me, and telling me how much they're proud of me. You know, it's great coaching staff, and I'm, I'm glad that they were behind me the whole way. And how hard is this? I mean, you're, you're saying that you haven't made the decision or you haven't made that um, determining factor yet, but, I mean, how hard is it of a decision for you? Um, I don't think it's going to be a pretty hard decision at all. Um, I'm in a win-win situation. <laughs> i got um, a lot of different options I can take, and, you know, I'm happily um, 
ready to exploit either one. Okay, Jack, you have until August 15th to make a decision, but do you want to maybe make it earlier than that and go ahead and have your whole summer planned out? Do you want to make you know, get this over with kind of early? Um, I don't know. Just, just, just taking a day at a time. I don't, I don't know how, um, what's going to go on, or you know, I'm just going to um, try to hang out and enjoy my family and friends as much as possible. Um, I don't really get to see them much. Me being the guy from out of out of state, so you know, I just want to settle down and you know, get get to talk with my family and just you know, enjoy their presence. All right, and then Neil. Is there a specific team when you were a kid running around the yard throwing the ball up that you envisioned yourself playing with? I wouldn't say actually envision myself playing with, but you know, I just wanted to, to play. I, I would see, I would just see the games and I tell myself, I, I, I could play up there one day, you know. Everybody think about it as a kid and, you know, I, I want to make it to that level. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm, I'm just thankful for the opportunity and you know, I'm ready. Have you been to Fenway before? I have. Um, when I was um, up at the Cape my freshman year, and um, I visited there. I really like the restaurants around there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with, with Scott Boros, as your, as your advisor, traditionally he takes many of his top um, um, folks to, to, to the August 15 deadline. I mean, do you expect that's probably when it's going to happen? And in the interval, will you do something perhaps like go play in the Cape to stay sharp? and kind of get your swing back? I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that, but, um, you know, playing in the Cape is definitely one of the options that um, we wanted to, I guess, check out if need be. Um, you know, I get back healthy, and I wouldn't mind playing in the Cape at all. Um, we'll see where it goes in a couple of weeks when I'm back swinging it again, trying to get a feel for everything, and then I think I'll be able to make a better decision then about it. Are you prepared to go to August 15th, basically? Do you, um, you expect, do you anticipate it, that might happen? I'm, I don't know what to anticipate, okay. um, but if, if it does happen that way, then, you know, I'm all, I'm all for it. Uh, there's no rush. Um, I'm just, I'm living in the moment right now. <laughs> Jack, how would you describe your role for the team for this coming weekend and potentially beyond? You know, I'm supporting my boys. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm here for them through thick and thin. Um, you know, we, we've made it through a lot. A lot of adversity, a lot of injuries, and I'm, I'm just ready for it. I'm, I'm so glad that he made it this far, and, you know, just to be able to continue to win no matter what, you know, everybody's saying, oh, Jackie's hurt this, Jackie's hurt that, um, you know, we don't know how far they're going to make it. You know, my, my boys are making them out of believers, and, um, you know, we, we have a chance to do it all over again. And, you know, I know Coach Tanner don't like to, like to live in the future, but I mean, I would like for my boys to get back there to the College World Series. You were, I mean, you were a guy who was so much a part of this last year. Can you just describe how weird it was Friday night to be sitting behind the plate watching it and be at home while they're at Hoover and what the last two months have been like? It, it was different. Um, you know, it was my first time sitting in the stands before. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, looking out there in the outfield, how do I cover that much ground? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it looks so big from you know the stands. <laughs> see Evan tracking them down, you know, I, I kind of want to get back out there and join them. <laughs> and um, it, it, it's, it's different. Um, I actually couldn't find a seat. I was kind of moving around all over the place, <laughs> taking everybody's seats. <laughs> but um, I kind of just hung out with the guys and we talked, um, you know, and we were, we were just we're just glad to be um, where we are, you know, in regionals and winning, um, playing good baseball. And as long as we keep winning, we have a chance. Growing up, were your parents so tough on you? Or they, did they push you a lot to, to get outside and play, or were they, you know, pretty pretty easy on you? Um, I would say they were they were pretty easy on me. I was always the one who who wanted to, you know, go out and do it on my own. I'm kind of independent, and, you know. I, I don't really need anybody to push me. Um, I got that that inner drive inside of me that you know wants to be the best. So it's it's, it's a kind of it's a it's a quiet thing about it, but. You know, I have a lot of confidence in myself, and I know what I can do and what I'm capable of. And you know, I, I always wanted to do more, more than others, um, because like I always said, um, that while you're out here relaxing, there's um, somebody out there who's always working just as hard as you, or if not harder. Sergeant, 
Can you just walk us through the moment last night um, with your Hill House, with your family? Can you just walk us through maybe your thoughts and um, sound like there was some funny moments? Yeah, um, <laughs> at the beginning, um, you know, we were looking at the TV and you know, you see the top names come up and the CB at 30, 33 or somewhere around there as like best prospects or um, something like that. And actually, they see another name first. They just see Bradley, and it was it was Archie Archie Bradley, I believe. And um, you know, everybody's like, hey, there he is, there he is. And I'm like, nah, that's not me. You know, they, they kind of they know me as Bradley Jr. So um, we were just looking at that, and as the names start going by, you know, we start finishing up the dinner, and um, it's around it's the comp beginning of the compensation round, um, supplemental round, and it's around 30. Eight-ish, somewhere around there, and um, you know we're just we're just relaxing, you know, talking amongst each other. Um, just excited to be um, be around each other and hanging out, and talking. And you know, I had a lot of family members come in. Some of them already have left, but um, you know, I'm so glad they was here and friends um, just shared a moment with me. And 39, I think. Um, I can't remember exactly who it was. The kid from Georgia. Green. Yes. Was it? Yes. 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 Him and forty came up Boston and you know I I don't know I just kind of have a feel I know Boston had the nineteenth pick and I was thinking nineteen nineteen you know you never know <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, I kind of had a feeling with Boston and well you know they they found a way to get me up at forty and you know I know they're glad to be able to pick me up at that spot and. I'm glad that they were confident enough to pick me with that spot, um, given my a certain situation with um, injury or whatever. What um, are you providing any scouting report this weekend on George? Did you figure anything out on him last summer? Oh yeah, my buddy. Is, is it interesting how this all kind of played out? Where you, I guess um, you and Matt can have a conversation about Boston too. Um, yeah, Matt Barnes and George Springer. Well, you know, oh, I actually heard. I don't know if George has heard or anything. Yeah, but I hope he's he's doing well. He's, he's what kind like, of player is he? What did you see out of him last summer? He's he's an aggressive guy. He you know, he's an amazing talent. He can he can do it all. He's he's very raw. He, he's, he's he's real good. He has a great arm strength. Um, he's fast. He can hit the ball ball a mile. Um, you know he's he's what you want on the field at all times. Uh, Matt Barnes. He's just as electrifying, but on the mound. The guy would go about 94 to 96 consistently. they would get up about 97. He's a big guy, about 6'5", tall and lengthy. Um, he gets on you pretty well, and he has a his. I feel like his curveball is his best, his best pitch actually. He's pretty sharp. He's right around 12'6". Um, and I believe he's been working on the changeup as well. But his curveball is devastating. <laughs> Jackie, any possibility you could be added to the roster this weekend? Do you think you'd be strong enough to at least make wear the uniform and be maybe a late inning guy? Um, I don't know what the coaches want to do. Um, whatever they decide is it's in their hands. Um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good, and you know, I'm just I'm just trying to get as back as strong as possible. Uh, I don't know, they don't just want to put me in there just to, you know, like a. Pity put in. No, no, I don't want. I want. I don't want that. No, I want to play the game. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to make a run uh, towards the end. You know, God willing. All right. What do you feel like you still need to work on? Um, getting healthy, not getting injured anymore. Um, I definitely need to work on that. Um, but just in general, just just getting stronger, getting better every single day as a whole. You know. Uh, there's, there's always something you can be working on, whether it's, it's hitting, um, running, growing. And, you know, it's just a continuous thing where you, you work on just to strive to get better and try to make it to the next level. Kind of questions for Jackie. All right, yeah, thank you very much.